welcome back to my channel uh, thanks for the love guys I really really appreciate uh, today we we're gonna talk about the biomechanics and the company that's gonna come to do the analysis of my biomechanics is uh, Leomo company so uh, biomechanics and running form is so so important because uh, it comes with energy consumption consumption staying injury free uh, running really fast and um, you're gonna learn a lot uh, because it's it's a thing that people take for granted but it's really really very very important factor so uh, welcome to my channel and uh, walk on your phone or suffer the rest of your life all right so what is that what are you doing right now so these are uh, motion sensors that yeah. will um, yeah. we'll put uh, five on your body. There'll be yeah. one on each foot, yeah. one on your thighs, and one on yeah. your lower pelvis. All right. And basically, this uh, tracks uh, exactly where your position is when you're running. Yes. And um, we'll take the data from that. So yeah. we, we eat a lot of raw data, yeah. pre precisely where uh, your foot, nice your, your body's moving. Yeah. And then we'll take the data and put it through our metrics. Yes. And then we uh, break down the stride in many, many different levels yes. and understand exactly how you're moving. So if there's yeah. any imbalance at all or any yeah. slight um, uh, asymmetry, yeah. uh, we can let you know about that. And then yeah. through strength and conditioning and strides, yeah. you can improve that. And so Definitely. ideally, yeah. it all makes you more efficient, um, yeah. ultimately faster. I mean. Already I got a lot of feedback, a lot of people talking about my running form is the best form out there, so I don't know. Well, so keep Legat, so, so, so we, we were doing a thing with uh, Legat yeah. and the Arizona team yeah. in a couple yeah. weeks, and yeah. when we first talked to him last summer, he's like, yeah. oh, he's like, I want to see what Paul's looks like. Paul is the most beautiful form. Yeah. And so, so, so yeah. maybe, maybe you're already, maybe you're already beautiful, right? And like, let's see, let's see what, maybe you guys, let's see what you guys can fix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, What exactly does it show you once they're done with the workout? So when the sensor's on an athlete doing a workout like this, it's tracking the precise movements of their, of, of their legs, of their feet, of their, of their torso. And what it does is it, it sends a lot of raw data um, based on tracking it as it moves uh, through space. Um, and then it comes back to us in our, in our uh, Type S unit. And then we're able to take that raw data, which are it's huge files, and turn it into our metrics. And so our metrics uh, study six different segments of the stride and understand uh, how efficient a runner is in each of those, those, those segments. And so it really breaks down a runner's stride in micro segments to really understand how they're moving. So uh, combined with all those, then you can see a bigger picture of how efficient they are and where they might need improvement. Okay. Uh, my name is Neil Ross. I'm a uh... Uh, sales and marketing representative for Leomo. What does the tapping do uh, on the sensors? Uh, so when we uh, tap the motion sensors in front of the iPad, uh, that syncs up the, the motion sensors with our software called uh, LVS or Live Video Sync. Uh, so that gives us the ability to um, uh, synchronize the, the data that we get from the Type S to the, the video uh, so we can kind of dive a little deeper and um, into the data. Yeah. It sucks being out of shape. Yeah, next job is going to mean you're going to run mountains today. Right. Man. Oh, Dante. It's a struggle. Oh, Dante. I need you guys over here. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. All right, you can Dante. finish your cool down. Dante is too airy. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you pull Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to get a call. Leave us. Oh, God, I'm going to give you Leave some right. call. You okay? Want to get a pick? Right. With this? Yeah. Uh, my little big brother. Okay, one to big one, two, three. Mm, vertical. Yeah, I think it's a bad idea. I should have put mine on the back. Yeah, this way is <laughs> better. I think this way is better. Okay, come on, ready? One, two, three. And then go. There you go. Yeah, cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hold it. Hey Eugene, hey Eugene, 400, 800 meter champ. Down. Yeah, yeah put mine yeah. down. Oh my god. Yeah, I put mine down, bro. <laughs> we go. Yeah. You say you're feeling good. We can go. We can go. We can go. Let's go down fast. Let's go down fast. Come. Yeah, fast. yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Why he want to wait? I might do what I put up. 
I'm not, you're I'm rich. I'm gonna put 10,000 grand. That don't even make sense. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I think Paul's gonna bullshit me. He's gonna say, ready, set, go, and I'm gonna take off, and he's gonna be standing like this. <laughs> as long as I get a 200 air start, let's go. Let's go. Let's just pull off. As long as he gets 200 meter air start. I'm not playing. He plays too much, bro. He did that last time. He said 200 meter race. He had ready, set, go, and I took off running, and he just stood there. You're not used to running with. Uh, Items on you, huh? Yeah, it feels so like it's too much. It's just, it just felt like, especially now I'm out of shape, so it's a struggle still. Just taking off like a week and a half makes a really big difference in distance running. So, but uh, sometimes the difference is the longer you take, uh, the double amount of time it will take you to get fit. So for me, like right now, I took about like one week and a half. So it will take me another, another like three weeks, like about like two weeks, two and a half weeks, two weeks to just get it back into the rhythm that I was I was in before. So usually I feel like it's that way. The longer you take, the double the amount of time it will take for you to get fit. And uh, but for me it's uh, feels good. I mean this is a good feeling. It doesn't feel good being out of shape, but then it's a good feeling because I know my body's recovered, my muscles are regenerating, and I'm. I'm gonna feel brand new again, you know? So that's the feeling. <laughs> See, everything sticks to you, man. Yeah, it's like Dante is just too, that is, that is, Dante is just too airy, it's too slippery. He makes you, he makes you walk even like, back to you. Uh, <laughs> All right, man. Um, are you, are you cool down? You want to you cool down? No, I'm good. Okay, okay. In a second, we're Grab gonna do a, a quick interview it. with you. Alright. Yeah, uh, I feel like um, mostly I try to be really, really as efficient as I can, and that's something that is really helping me with my form. Uh, um, and big thing is just the natural. I try to run natural the way I was born, and try to try to just substitute. Most of my form is, most of my form is like me just trying to relax a lot of times because sometimes when you, when you like, when you, when you struggle, that's when form plays a big, big role, especially when I go to big championships, like for example, Tokyo, counting to Tokyo was just like really a matter of microseconds and I feel like big part of it was my form, of course. 100 meters to go in Tokyo, I'm telling you. Like literally my legs gave up and I had lactic. And I learned one thing actually, every year is for me is a learning, it's a learning thing. And this year with my experience, my form was able to help me because coach has been talking about when you get to the last 100 meters, try not to like, if it's too painful, it's, it's too hard still for everyone. But then don't try to cringe your face, like tr don't try to make it look like you're struggling try to relax because you use a lot of energy to do that so I try my best and one thing that I was able to do is dig deep and work on my form like the big part was my my arms I tried to swing my arms all the way and that just did a lot of wonders and pretty much Tokyo last hundred meters it was my form yeah the form brought a big big difference so yeah so, so you were able to be efficient uh, down the home stretch when other runners obviously didn't, and they they went backwards almost. Yeah, exactly. So when when I was when I was like struggling, when I was struggling, still I was able to hold my form because if I was wobbling around and not working on my uh, not holding my form, I think it would be tough for me to get uh, even even top five. I mean top four, but uh, to get to get the medal was like literally like big big like really really small difference so like Tokyo to I mean Rio Olympic Games um I feel like I didn't use my form a lot uh, I use a lot of swinging like I tried to swing 800 to go but Tokyo I I did everything I yeah. had to swing and I had to go deep on using my form to do that so yeah, yeah. And that's what you're saying is that form you know the s form can help make the small differences you know important yeah exactly so when the race comes down to microseconds you know, there's gotta be a lot of big differences, and and one of the thing is form. The uh, the other thing that I think which is a big factor is mentality. 
You know, when the mentality comes with the form, you know, when you dig deep, your your mind has got to believe that you can do it, and you can, you can use your form to make to make top three. So that that's also a big big factor. And uh, even at the Olympic trials, my big thing was try to use my form and swing my arms a lot, and not try to worry about uh, the the pain. So sometimes, sometimes uh, when you're in shape, you have all the confidence. Your form just plays a role too. So I just feel like, especially to one thing, big thing is like to upcoming athletes. You know, a lot of athletes they worry about too much things. You know, sometimes running is just like don't worry about too much things. Don't worry about your form. The big thing is try to try to mold your form slowly but slowly. Don't say like I want to have the perfect form. Nothing. Rome was never built in a day. You know, for me, even like my form, it's not that I've been, it's not that I've, before when I started running, I was like this. It's something that has come through like a lot of experience and a lot of training. So don't wake up one day and say like, I'm going to make my form to be the best and make my form like to be like Paul Chilim or Eliud Kipchoge, you know, because Eliud Kipchoge like is bouncing on the roads. And that's a big factor, like especially on the marathon. It's a lot of energy consumption, like it's it's a lot of energy using when you have a bad form and you're struggling, especially in the marathon. Marathon really plays a lot of, a lot of, um, it's, it's big in the marathon. And also like one thing that people don't realize, the different part, the difference, the big difference is I have a back, uh, like a high back kick, like my back kick is crazy. So that's a big, it's also a big difference that helps me in my form. and. And just the way you swing your arms and your legs brings in the form. And also, for me, um, I have the best form, but then adding towards the marathon, it's something that I have to change. And it's not like I'm gonna wake up one day and change my form. I'm just gonna keep working on my form. And the way you see, the way I told you, you have a high back kick, that's something that I, I gotta cut it. Because in the marathon, it's gonna be a struggle if I do that. So I have to like, Make sure that I don't I don't bring like my legs really as high as I can because that's perfectly for the track because it's like I have to sprint all the way. But the marathon is it's all about like short steps. The short steps and the cadence and the amount of steps that you use depends on your energy consumption. So if you doing like if you're doing like really short steps, that's that helps in energy consumption marathon wise. If you're doing like long steps and, sh and, and and quick quick long steps, I feel like that helps on the track a little bit on the track, especially like uh, 800, 1500. Uh, but pretty much, uh, I think um, I think it's have a, have a good form or suffer the rest of your life. Yep. Yep. Well, you gotta go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank appreciate you. it. I'll text you stuff. All right, man. I see you around, man. It's good seeing you. I don't think there's a, there's my team here. I don't have a team. <laughs> I know what I was gonna say. Two, three. Good, good, good. Okay, how else we get in? So uh, today, biomechanics and analysis of my running form went out great, and uh, so I'm yet to get the results. It's exciting because I try to uh, I try to work on little things because with professional running right now uh, with the level that we are right now it's it's really a small small difference like pretty much microseconds it can come to like your form your fitness your mentality so I really really want to work on the little things or and as I said you know it's it's just the little things or or you suffer the rest of your life so that's that's how I feel like that's the reason why I had a chance and today was the time that it's off season. It's, I can now analyze on that, heading into next year. And it's, it's been fun. I, I love it and, you know, it's a journey. And I'm excited. It's exciting. And uh, please, I will, I will say one thing though. Uh, I, love, I love your support. I don't take it for granted. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you want more and more and more stuff, and I'm gonna bring be bringing out more stuff, and I'm excited for the next vlog. Please subscribe.